I sort of knew uh, many years before that uh, that I would be asked to mm -hmm. to photograph the funeral for for the Reagans, and um, so when he died, I flew out to California, and you know I had had a re relationship with Mrs. Reagan mm -hmm. that um, was you know uh, quite intimate in in many ways because I you end up as a White House photographer being in very intimate situations. Sure. So. Um, so I had had this previous relationship with her, and I was there on their behalf, and, but it was also documenting history. Mm -hmm. um, so th I have to say it was very eerie to see the casket on Air Force One, um, to, to see those guest seats on the plane had been removed and they strapped the casket in, in the guest cabin of Air Force mm -hmm. One, and President Bush uh, was nice enough to send Air Force One out to California mm -hmm. to pick up Reagan's casket. So it's very eerie to just mm -hmm. see it sitting back there. And then at one point, uh, as the picture shows, Mrs. Reagan came back with, with her son, Ron, and, and Ron's son, Doria. And, you know, I just kind of like looked at her and she looked at me mm -hmm. and I knew it was okay to be there. It, it, no, no words were exchanged, mm. but I felt that my presence there was wanted. Uh, and it's just kind of a gut feeling, really, because this is as intimate a situation absolutely, as, you can, absolutely. as you can possibly see. I mean, there's nobody else back there except for me and the three of them. Um, so a very intimate moment. 